No civil rights movement has ever been successful until it pulled or enlisted others beyond itself. This is Harvey Milk, speaking from the camera store on the evening of Friday, November 18th. This is to be played only in the event of my death by assassination. How do you feel about a uh, public school for gays? High school. No, you don't like the idea. My name is Thomas Crever. I'm the Chief Executive Officer at the Hedrick Martin Institute. We provide an array of mental, mental health services, emotional wellness, after-school programs, homeless youth outreach programs, a shelter system, or what we call pantry, um, for young people to have the wherewithal so that we can refer them to overnight shelters as well as host what is called the Harvey Milk High School. All right, so Hedrick Martin Institute, formerly called Ippelgy, the Institute for the Protection of Lesbian and Gay Youth, was actually founded in 1979 out of an actual incident that occurred here in New York where a young gay male, 15 years old, was thrown out of his group home um, after being bullied, victimized, harassed, basically by its employees who blamed him for having brought it all upon himself as a result of him being gay. I, I had worked with Gang Involved Youth for over a decade and a half. I was a young person in that program as well in my own teen years. And I thought in doing that work as an adult, I had met our country's most vulnerable population. And then in 2003, I walked through the doors of HMI, or Hedrick Martin Institute, and I had an epiphany, if not a rude awakening. And so if you name the ism, the obia, the challenge that affects young people across the board, LGBTQ youth, unfortunately, are so astronomically impacted. I don't think ignorance is a bad thing. It's just the process of not knowing what you don't get know, right? It's only bad if you don't ask the questions or find out the answers. Then I think that that's doing yourself and your community a disservice.